Alrighty, welcome back to more of Eternal Darkness. Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Some see them as the meaningless tossing and turning of a brain settling into a restful sleep. Others see them as laden with symbols of our unconscious desires. To still others, dreams represent the upwelling of the archetypes, normally hidden deep within the recesses of the human collective unconscious. So of then one thing I am certain. After a brush with the ancients, our dreams metamorphosize into nightmares. Yeah, so why do I keep having zombie dreams? I don't know. In real life? Yeah. Oh, wow. I have terrible zombie dreams. I have implored you for years. Yet you ignore all my advances. You dominate my dreams. And I can think of nothing else. I fear I desire you many hundred times more than you love me. My life has become a waking dream, Karim. For weeks, I have dreamed of an ancient treasure so precious that it changes all life around it. It must be mine, Karim. If you truly desire me, as you say, then you will find this for me. Bring this treasure to me, and I will be yours. Both of our dreams will come true. I need nothing more than you. You have enthralled me to the point where I can think of nothing else. Promise, if I leave, you will not forget about me. You need not worry. I desire nothing more than the treasure that you seek. Leave now, Kareem, and I shall await you. Yeah, you made it back to the same spot. skeletons? Nope, not yet. Okay. Yeah. There's even something really weird though with my dreams. What? Like, I've literally had a protagonist challenge me in my dreams. What? Yeah. Like, straight up, it, with the nightmares that I, that I had, you know, the protagonist would constantly challenge me and actually go ahead and fight me and knew that it was in a dream. Oh, that's weird! Yeah, it was. It was It was terrifying. Okay, and this person, I, I don't even know their actual name, but every single time when it happens, and I've been seeing them in multiple dreams, actually. Really? Yeah. They only go by one name, which is the Magician. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> because they were a Magician throughout the entire thing. Okay. Yeah, it's really, really freaky. Because, like, I had, like, a horror dream that was mixing in with it because he was, like, he was doing a magic show of like taking people that were unwilling or like taking them into the magic show mutilating them horribly and then changing them back to normal okay. but they were still able to feel all the pain and fear and everything and I was with someone else too when this happened and it got to the point where I even told myself that you know like I, I looked over to her and I said don't worry this is just a dream we'll wake up and then as soon as I said that, the guy stopped mid, <laughs> mid show, just stopped everything and just looked me dead in the eyes. And I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> everything went black, everything went going, and then he just made every single mutilated body that he turned and changed come right after me. Oh, and I had to literally run with this other person that I was with and make it to the exit to actually wake up. Oh wow. It's freaking terrifying as hell. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I've even had dreams that were both like audible, visual, and also have sensories like sight and smell and taste. Yeah, I've had dreams where I actually smelled stuff. So. God, it, it was worse because I smelled all that putrid shit. Oh, jeez. It was nasty. Oh, that was terrible. Yeah, it was literally the worst fouling stench I've ever smelled, and it was in a dream. Yeah. Alright. 
there's a uh, Elia, and there's also Augustus. Yeah, there he is. Anthony. He tried. Yeah, here's the toad. Cradle in what appears to be the leathery hands lies a mysterious book. It's bound in human skin and intricately decorated with shrunken bone. It beckons and yearns to be possessed. Shall we reclaim the toad? No! No? Run away! Why? I don't know. <laughs> oh, you're just choosing I'm just being a smart ass. I have to take it. Okay, it well, it's mandatory. Yeah. There you go. And now they awaken from their eternal slumber. Oh, crap. Hi, guys. <laughs> Go after the light, go after the tiny ones. There you go, just lop off heads. There you go, just taking a little off the top. There you go. There you go, he's dead. Alright, chop him up. Go, that's another one down. Yeah. I've even had the terrible dreams in where like a baby crumpled in my arms. Oh, that's awful. Yeah, it is. Oh, jeez. And, and you, you felt it because like you, I, I literally felt like the backbone of, of the baby snap and just fold into two. Oh. That, that is like the worst feeling ever. Oh. And then I just, I just, all I did was look over and I saw the goddamn guy's face again. Oh. What a completely different dream. It was horrible. Oh man. Aren't you waking up from these dreams? No. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> like the only time I ever woke up was when I ran to the exit on the first one, and I woke up in a cold sweat from that kind of stuff. The other stuff was just like, I just kept on rolling with it. Oh, I just got terrible nightmares. Oh, wow. Like, the worst thing ever, though, was also those zombie dreams, because it was literally like, night after night after night. It took three nights for it to finally stop. Really? Yeah, it did. Jeez. And I, it was like, on the third night, I took matters into my own hands. I was like, fuck it. I drunk it like a NOS energy drink before I went to bed and I slept. Oh, man. Yeah, it was, it was terrible. I still went through, like, the whole dream and, then, like, the last one. I can still actually visually and actually explain every single one of those dreams to this day. Wow. Yeah. But, like, the final one, I finally, like, I got bit and I lost. <laughs> So, like, what happened was, as soon as I got bit from the zombie, I literally, like, jumped up, uh, or I, I literally popped up from me sleeping. Uh -huh. And then I just fell back down, I'm like, fuck! I lost! <laughs> and then I went to sleep. I can't? Yeah, I just went back to bed. There you go. Let's hack this guy up. Alright, whatever this thing is. A statue of vaguely resembling a man standing atop of a low pedestal. Okay, that's something. A little statuette. Hey there, buddy! Alrighty. You know, I probably should power up this thing. Why haven't I been doing that? I don't know, you haven't thought about it, have you? Oh, I also have a talisman and chakrams. Cool. All right. Cast it. Put it on the core. There you go. There you go. Are you dead yet? No. He has something in his body too, though. I want it. Brian. There we go. Not a magical ruin. There you go. Just chop him up into pieces. He's 
dead, dead? Yeah, he's dead, dead. Good. Anything else over here? Nope. Okay, cool. Up the stairs we go. Or ladder, I should say. What the heck? <laughs> Just standing on the circle, it does that. Oh. Yeah. Alright, anything else over here? Oh. Ah, since I have that room, it's open. Oh, okay. And I can climb down there if I wanted to. Alright, Narcan Shrine dominating the room, braziers around the its edges, while a larger one tops its summit. No doubt each one uh, would be filled with incense to facilitate prayer to insidious deities. Oh boy. Can't wait. Did you have fun? Maybe. It's the little things. Yeah, well, there's really nothing else in here, so... Just gotta go down. Oh, look, I can take that torch, I think. A torch hangs upon the wall. Well, no shit. There we go. I have torch. That'll probably help out because it's gonna be super dark. I wonder if I could add the thing to the torch. What, an enchantment? Yeah. I don't think you can enchant a torch. Nope, can't be enchanted. Oh well, it was worth a shot. I hear a guy chanting my voice. I wish it was a lady. Hello. It's a stone tablet. Oh boy. Oh, it's the, it's the shape of the of the green stone tablet that you saw in the, uh, in the mansion. There you go. There you go. And... We blow. You're dead. Oh, I didn't want to look at the statuette, but it vaguely resembles a man standing atop a low pedestal. Yeah, I'll take it. Yep. There we go. All the little mummies are killed. One's... One's dark. And this one's, uh... Seems particularly heavy for its size. Okay. Calling it fat. Alright. So one's black, one's white. We'll see what other uses I'll have. I know I think I, think I need a third one. Or I think I just only need those two. Put them on those circles that I was making the funny noises with. Yep. You next. And then I just gotta stand on this one. There we go. Da 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 da! Oh god! Well. Chakra? Okay, two more. One more. There we go. No more. Aha! The shrine is risen from the floor, exposing what appears to be a lifting mechanism. Should Green use the device to descend? I don't think there's anything else for me to do here, is there? No, I don't think so. Okay. Alright. Ground floor. I should probably switch back over to the torch. Yeah. No way I could use the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Alright. Oh. Hi, sir. You gonna jump up and say hello? Can I? Nope. Okay, good. Okay. Alright, back to the torch. 
just another dead person. It's totally fine. <laughs> Lying in a pool of cold blood is a dead soldier. He is a victim of an unseen battle. Perhaps these men die from the claws of the monsters of this place. It is difficult to tell. Indeed. Oh, this one has a sword in his back. The man lies dead, anointed in blood from the ravages of a Total War sword. The wounds deep and numerous see fresh blood, precise yet powerful. The results of a man's actions, not a monster's. Are you sure about that? No. Should Kareem receive the Total War? Well, I'm just saying, man truly could be a monster. Yes, man could be. Take it. Very well. I have acquired a Total War. Kareem can now wield two Tall Wars simultaneously. Mm. Ha ha! Dual wielding. Oh, hi! Oh, great. Someone awoke me. Oh, God! <laughs> Equipo! Just keep slashing. Just keep on hacking bits and pieces off. Oh god, he's on me. He's, he's giving me a close shave. I, I'm trying to... God dang it. Get off me. Okay, I'm just trying to lop off your head, sir. No. There we go. There we go. There we go, stabby stab. So, are more of you gonna go up now? Are you guys gonna get up? Nope, okay, good. Open the door! Oh god, what's this? Details. Another dead man. That's not the details that I wanted. Who were these men whose corpses lit in the dungeon? Unwary soldiers who stumbled inside or grave robbers looking to plunder it. A crumpled scroll lies beneath the dead man's curled fingers. That is what I wanted. The Recover spell. Wonderful. I'm probably going to need that. But first, equip the torch. Fire! Haha! -ha. Burn you alive, I damn it. Burn. There we go. There you go. Okay. Fire is, you know. Yeah. Hold on. Here. Let me, let me get the other thing. Okay. And you. There we go. It is enchanted. Okay. And double check it. Yeah, that's my sanity that's off. Well, well not still, but uh, from these guys. There we go. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Ow. Oh no. It's happening. Aww. I've lost my head. Yeah, I've lost an arm. Too. Here comes the other hand. You're yeah. Literally. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw this, it scared me. It's like, wait, no, I didn't save. Oh, no. Alright, let's see now. Spells, recover, check. Tied scrolls from the ancient text. It reads the spell enables to transfer magical power from the environment to the self. Restoration of the body, spirit, and mind is the spell's purpose. Spells needed are Narokath and Santak runes. Uh, uh, if one of them, it might be that, but I don't know. It's okay though. Open the door. Oh god, should not have opened the door. Woo! Oh, I, I, I. Okay. Where's my fire stick? There's my fire stick. It burns them. Well, well, they're on fire, and then after that I pull out the sword, and then I finish them off. That is what I do. Get a tiny bit of sanity back. Yeah, tell me something I don't know. Nuts? 
I said something I don't know. Oh, sorry. You already know you're crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta work on those jokes there a bit more. Yeah, a lot of work. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. How did you get the rune? There was no rune. It was just a, bl a barrier blocker. This oh. is the rune. <laughs> Okay. Can I can I add stuff to uh, to this? To yeah, I can add them to the chakra. Cool. Ow! 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 He's not working. I'm stuck in a corner. Oh god, baby's in the corner. This isn't good. I'm just gonna leave. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> Crap! Yeah. Well, fine then. I guess I'm not allowed to go. Bring it on, you pansy! Ow! Ow! I think he's there for my magic. Stop it! Ow! Son of a bitch! Damn it! I'm crazy. Oh god, dude, he's on my ass! <laughs> Great, thanks. Just whatever health I got, he just took away. I'm just gonna hide in here now. There you go. I just want some help, please. There we go. That's all I wanted. I guess now I'll just start using the, the chakrams up on the thing. Just gotta get closer. And then try and aim at the faces. Or I could just take the tome. No, should not do that. Ow, oh. stupid laser. That son of a... He literally takes up the whole room. He's a fatty. Ow. I can only get like one shot off at a time. There we go. Finally. Magical rune. There you go. Did I get a little bit of sanity back? Very little. Alright. Stone tablet amongst the dust and the plinth? Or in the plinth? Okay. Oh, Sanathar. So. Shoot. Shoot, shoot. I got that. I don't know what that is, but I know that's Santac. Um, okay. Not bad. I need that narrow calf now. Although I bet what I have is narrow calf. But they're not showing it to me until I get it. It just seems to be the way it's going in the game. Oh god! The stupid teleporty bugs. I forgot about those. Oh, and this. Oh, that stuff is off. This. The Trapper Dimension. Sprawls in every direction. Uh, Whilst in this place, magic cannot be cast, and humans are subjected to odd phenomena. The por uh, portals cycle from color to color as time progresses, and only the quick will escape. I'm afraid that... See, uh... uh oh, 
Hedgefer! <laughs> I did it! Now I just gotta get this guy. I think fire can help. Hey, fire. Fire's bad, or fire does not work. I wish it did. Okay. Dual swingy torch. Oh, I'm frozen. What, what is this guy doing? Okay. He basically blew himself up. Okay. This, this guy sucks. I'm just gonna go. Back from the trapper dimension of bullshittery. What's in magical door? Okay. Okay. I mean, do I have it? Deep into that darkness. Oh. <laughs> I hit the start button and it did that. That's funny. Ah, spellless. No, no. I don't have it yet. That's a shame. Oh well. I think I'll go ahead and end it right here. I'm sure more stupid stuff might happen while I'm trying to do this, but eh. eh. Thanks for anyone watching. Hopefully you're enjoying. Have a good one and see you later. I'm crazy. Yeah, you're totally nuts. Yeah. Oh, you poor thing. I'm gonna get your senility back. Your lack of, I mean, how are you gonna be saying? I, I don't know. Do you remember how to do that? Well, I think you gotta get like a spell or something. Oh. Yeah, you know, that or that or go to church, you know. T that's not gonna help. Oh. Yeah. Hey, it might. It might. Yeah. I never thought a religious person would say that. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, okay.